Hello brethren, I welcome you to today's meeting. It's my prayer that the Lord God Almighty will bless us and give us true understanding of the times we're living in in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I have a challenge with my laptop, so I'm using my phone to do the recording until I fix it. No matter the challenge, the work of God must move forward. The most important thing is that the word of God should not be imprisoned. Let us pray. O oh Lord our King, thank you for always being there. We ask that you open our eyes to see very clearly and understand the times we are living in. We are seeing the very signs of the end. Yet many of us are asleep. Lord, wake us up and help us to get prepared for the rapture. Lord, help us to get ready for the flight that is just so close. Help us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we are talking about how close are we to the rapture. Are we very close? Is a rapture many years away? Last week, I talked about the building of the third temple, the sacrifice of the red haifa and the building of the third temple. Today, I will be looking at the falling away, which is one of the signs of the end. Then also, cashless society. We'll be looking at one world government and the advent, the advent and advancement of artificial intelligence. These are the things we are looking at today. In case you did not watch last week's message, please, I did introduction there. Please go and watch it. Let's read a few verses before we go to the second thing we are considering. Uh, in As we look at how close we are to the rapture. Meanwhile, I said the rapture can happen anytime. There is no sign we are looking at that, that we are waiting for. We are not waiting for any sign anymore that until this or that happens, the rapture cannot take place. No. But the second coming of Jesus Christ, it is very, very clear. Matthew 24, 29. It says that immediately after the tribulation, the sign of the Son of Man will appear. So we know the second we know the time of the second coming of Jesus Christ. It is immediately after the tribulation of those days that the rapture, nobody knows when he is going to come. That is the more reason we need to prepare ourselves and also know the times that we are living in. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 13 to 17. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then also we sleep in Jesus, we bring, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which shall sleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and with a voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. We shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. If during the rapture the Lord is not going to touch the earth, according to the scripture, that during the second coming of Jesus Christ, is going to be here and there will be the millennial reign of Jesus Christ from Israel. Then let's also read 1 Corinthians 15, verses 51 and 52. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be shamed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, 
and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Brethren, this is what we are looking towards. Um, I read a message that the Lord gave me on the 1st of December 2021. Uh, I just want to read a few uh, sentences. The damp substance I reveal to you in a, in a dream is this current pandemic. Let those who understand the times get ready to fly. The day is nearer than you think. I am the Lord God Almighty. I hold time and I allow what happens in each split of the hours, whether good or bad. This is a message God gave to me. The time of our flight is near. It is nearer than before. So we who are God's children must prepare ourselves and get ready to fly. Let's talk about the falling away. Now, it looks so ridiculous, especially in this time of social media, when you see how people ridicule the church and also ridicule some practices of ignorant men and false prophets. And some of these things are so ridiculous that a lot of people don't want to be Christians anymore. And as a matter of fact, there is a huge falling away. There is a mass exodus of Christians from Christianity. Because a lot of people have been disappointed over the years. A lot of people have been asked to sow seeds. Their problems will be over. They have been asked to fast and pray that their problems will be over. They have been given this false gospel that is not of Christ. And their hope has died. Now, they are going back to traditional religion. Youths are in their numbers, leaving the church as we talk now. And a lot of people who are in the church, they are not in the church because they recognize Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. But because they, they probably they were born in church and some of them, they see the church as part of their social gathering. So it is their social responsibility to go there every Sunday or every Saturday for those who worship on the Sabbath day. This is wrong. The church is the ark of Noah. And uh, going to the church is for us to be saved, not to get entertained or to entertain others or make the church a source of income, as many people do today. There is a mass falling away. A lot of people are falling away from the truth. People get so angry when you talk to them about holiness. People get so angry. How could people who call themselves Christians get really angry when you talk about repentance? Meanwhile, the Bible states very clearly that except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. How can a man be born again without repentance? A lot of people get so infuriated when you mention sin. They don't want to hear it. And there are many men of God today who have refused to mention the name of sin. They don't call it sin by its name. And they have chosen to tickle the ears of these people with the lies they want to hear. The truth is that the hearts of men have become so hardened and wicked to the point that they hate the truth, they don't want to hear the truth, and they will do everything possible to stay away from everyone who tells them the truth. There is a mass, there is a falling away that is ongoing, and this is a sign. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. 
there must be a falling away first. How many people are still true to the faith? How many people still follow Jesus Christ? If you are among those who are falling away, please wake up. Wake up. Then let's look at the third thing we are considering, cashless society. Cashless society. It would look ridiculous to those who receive the book of, the first people that receive the book of Revelation, when they say that no man can buy or sell except they receive the mark of the beast. It, it was strange to them. But this is not strange to us. Today I was reading, I was reading something about a national identity number national identification number. Now in Nigeria, the national identification number, which is like the social security number, is the ID card is so advanced, is very, very advanced that you can use it to withdraw money. So what is digital ID? How, how sophisticated do we want a digital ID to be modern, tying it to your bank. So now, if you are a Nigerian, your ID is tied to your bank. You can use your card, your national ID card, to withdraw money from the ATM. And everyone has a number. Every single person has a number. Without this NIN, you cannot withdraw money. You cannot bank. You can't do virtually nothing in Nigeria without NIN, National Identification Number. So when we look at the world today and we see digital IDs, being implemented in different countries. As a matter of fact, there is no country in this world where they don't have one or two forms of digital identification. It is very, very common. As a matter of fact, I was watching a, a video in which they were interviewing some people in China. They said they no longer use cash. They don't, uh, some people said they, it's been a long time they use cash. They don't use cash anymore. They rarely use cash. That is a society we have come to find ourselves. Do you know that after the rapture, you will not be able to buy or sell if you get left behind? Some of you are pursuing money at all costs, at the expense of your service to God and your service to the church. And at the expense of your salvation, at the expense of reading your Bible and spending time in prayer, evangelizing, do you know that your money will get lost? Except you accept the mark of the beast. But it's dangerous. Let me tell you something. Um, let me give you some, some statistics. This is from the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council. Uh, you can check their website, it's atlanticcouncil.org. 134 countries and currency unions representing 98% of global GDP are exploring a CBDC, a central bank digital currency. 134 countries and currency unions representing 98 of global GDP. They are exploring a central bank digital currency. That means only 2% are not exploring central bank digital currency. Nigeria launched their central bank digital currency over two years now. Two years ago, they launched it. These things are happening quietly we already have a form of digital identity. We have digital currency. The problem is, a time is coming whether we say, 
oh, um, now we need to beef up security. We need to beef up security. We need to scan your eyes. We need to scan your... In fact, I, I got a message from Google that now you can link your thumb to your account. They are strengthening digital identity all over the world right now. After 9-11, things changed. Security in airports, everything changed. Global security increased. And it is all about the enslavement of humanity. Nothing more. Brethren, we have to be wise. Okay, listen to this. Currently, I'm reading, this is the same statistics from the Atlantic Council. The Atlantic Council. In May 2020, that number was only 35. That means in May 2020, the number of countries that are exploring CBDC, the number of countries and currency unions were just 35. We're just 35. Between 2020 and 2024, they have increased to 134. If you read Agenda 2030, you will understand deeper what I'm saying. The Lord is near. The Lord Jesus Christ is near. And we need to get ourselves ready. This is not a time to sleep anymore. Let me continue to read. Currently, 68 countries are in the advanced phase of exploring, development, pilot, or launch. Three countries have fully launched a CBDC. And these are the countries. The Bahamas, Jamaica, and Nigeria. This is from AtlanticCouncil.org. Three countries have fully launched it. The largest, the most populated country in Africa, Nigeria, has already launched two years ago. And a lot of us Christians are screaming miracles. We are screaming power and financial prosperity when in no time, if Jesus returns now, you will lose everything or you compromise your salvation. Let's talk about one world government. I don't want to dwell much on these because we can see the things that are happening right now in the world. Look at the wars we are facing. I'm not even talking about wars. In the few things, the five things I mentioned, I want to talk about. Look at the wars. When each time there are huge conflicts in the world, it brings the world the governments of the world together. Not every time the governments of the world come together is for the good of the church. Most times, they gather to advance the cause of the Antichrist and fulfill end-time prophecies. Please wake up. Try and read the pandemic treaty, the WHO pandemic treaty and see how our nations losing or about losing a lot of their sovereignty. Whether you like it or not, one world government has come to stay. It is going to advance to a point that nobody is going to deny it. A lot of people are living in denial, but it is advancing before our very eyes. One world government must come. The world must come to a point where it, it is going to have the rule of one man, the man of sin, the Antichrist, who will impose a mark upon everyone. Revelation chapter 13, 16 and 17 says, And he caused all both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And no man, and that no man might buy or sell, save he 
that had the mark, or the number of the beast, or the number of his name. We are close already. Then let's talk about the advancement of artificial intelligence. Daniel chapter 12 verse 4 says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, for even to the time of the end, this time, this time, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. We see knowledge. Over the last three years, we see the advent and the advancement of artificial intelligence, AI. It is so unique that a lot of people are still baffling. And the same people who advance AI are saying that if it is not regulated, it is going to be very, very dangerous. Now, they can even use your face, your video to produce a deep fake. And it will be difficult for you to even know which one is fake and which one is original. That is how advanced it is. I was listening to the news yesterday, or maybe I was reading it, that the U.S. military developed um, a fighter jet that is not manned by any human being, but is controlled by artificial intelligence. So it can be sent to go and fight war. Nobody is controlling it. It has the ability to control itself. It uses algorithm, and they are still training it. A lot of things are happening, but we are sleeping. How is artificial intelligence connected to the end time? Let me tell you a revelation I got. I'm going to leave the link to this revelation in the description box. I had this revelation. The title is Prophetic Message, Artificial Intelligence, in bracket AI and the Antichrist System. Let me read a part of it. You can... Watch it on Eagle Eye Open Global Outreach. Artificial intelligence shall be the main tool that will be used to monitor human beings. This is what the Lord told me. Let me continue. It shall be deployed to monitor. Artificial intelligence shall be deployed by the Antichrist for the control and surveillance of humans, even of the minute aspects of the human life let my children be wise let them know that the time of their flight is nearer now our time to fly is nearer now let's get ready to fly what is preventing you from getting ready are you ready at all or you were among those who have given up. Now we see scriptures coming to pass. Instead of waking up, most people are not paying attention. A lot of people have been carried away by their problems. Don't you know that some of these problems we face actually come into our lives to distract us? A lot of these problems we face did not come to discomfort us, but to take away our salvation. Because the devil knows how much we care about our health, about our problems, about our marriages, about our businesses. So anything we care so much about, if he attacks it and he sees that it takes huge amount of your attention, he will launch more attacks. The way he attacks Job. He attacked Job and he said, Oh, okay, that was his properties. Now, Lord, a man will give everything he has just to save his own soul. Permit me to attack his body. Some of the problems we face, they are actually in our lives 
to push us against God. But if you can just stand strong, if you can just keep believing and trusting, this world is not our own. Are you ready to fly? What is it that, that can prevent you from flying when the Lord returns? Are you ready to fly? Or you are among the multitude that just go to church because they feel it is their obligation to go to church. Is there any sin in, our, in your life that will not allow you to fly? Let us repent of our sins and remember that Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's coming very, very soon. He will first of all come in the rapture and be in the clouds and we will go to meet the Lord in the air. And immediately after that, there will be chaos in the world. There will be trouble in this world. There will be calamity on earth. There will be so much problem in this world. The Antichrist will emerge. The man of sin is going to take over everything. And he will make a deal with Israel and later break the deal. And there will be seven years of tribulation. The second half of the seven years, the three last three and a half years, will be terrible for everyone that missed the rapture. Please do not miss the rapture. Don't miss it. The rapture is so close. I've had several visions about the rapture. It is so close. God has been speaking to people. This is close. Please get yourself ready. Just as the Lord told me, get ready to fly. Please get ready. Let me read it. Let my children be wise. Let them that know the time of their flight. Let them know that the time of their flight is nearer now. Please get ready to fly. Do not give up. A minute in heaven, you will forget everything. The moment our bodies are changed, we will forget everything. Have a little more patience. Have a little more patience. Wait for God. Do not take loss into your hands. Do not retaliate. Do not say the Lord has delayed. Therefore, it's time to do whatever we want. No. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Get yourself ready to fly. Let us pray. Lord, if we say we have any power of our own, we deceive ourselves. You know we are helpless without you. That's why you said, without me, you can do nothing. This is the truth. But glory be to God, you have prepared everything for us. Salvation is free. Even the grace to continue is free. Lord, please help us. Help your people to stand to the end. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may the Lord God Almighty help you to stand to the end. May the Lord help you to stand to the end. May God Almighty help you to stand to the end. Whatsoever thing that is in your life, that is pulling you backward. May the power of the Lord crush it in the name of Jesus Christ. Any sin in your life, may the Lord help you to overcome it. Lord, help us this day. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we rebuke every power of the devil. We rebuke every power of the wicked. We rebuke every manipulation of the enemies. Arise, O Lord God, and fight our battles for us. In the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we put our trust in you, O God. We put all our hope in you, O Savior. Please help us. Mighty God, help us. Today, O King, we ask that you step into the situations of your children. Those who have one problem or the other, Lord, step into these situations and give your children peace and solution and a miracle and the breakthrough they need from you. I pray for you that whatsoever thing that you need to enable you 
fulfill your destiny and live a fulfilled life. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for as many that have been supporting this ministry. May the Lord God Almighty support your life. May your purse, your bank account, never run dry in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, I encourage you to share this video with someone and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Hosanna E.E. Debbie. We encourage you to give and support our ministry and the Lord God Almighty will bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.